Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss how to convert units of volume and how to choose and interpret scale in graphs and data displays. First of all let us see how to convert units of volume. Now units of volume are of the form cubic foot cubic inch, cubic centimeter, etc. Now as we used unit ratios to convert units of length, similarly we use unit ratios to convert units of volume. Now let us discuss an example for this. Here we have to find that how many cubic meters of concrete are needed for a sidewalk that has a volume of 280,000 cubic centimeters. Now let us start with its solution. Now here volume is given to us. So we can write volume is equal to 280,000 cubic centimeters. Now we know that 1 cubic centimeter is equal to 1 centimeter into 1 centimeter into 1 centimeter. So 280,000 cubic centimeters can be written as 280,000 into 1 cubic centimeter which is equal to 280,000 into 1 centimeter into 1 centimeter into 1 centimeter now also we know 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters which can be written as unit ratio 100 centimeters upon 1 meter now centimeter is a smaller unit and meter is a larger unit so to convert smaller unit centimeter to larger unit meter, we will multiply it with reciprocal of this unit ratio. Now reciprocal of this unit ratio is 1 meter upon 100 centimeters. So here 1 centimeter is equal to 1 centimeter into 1 meter upon 100 centimeters. So this is equal to 280,000 into 1 centimeter into 1 meter upon 100 centimeters into 1 centimeter into 1 meter upon 100 centimeters into 1 centimeter into 1 meter upon 100 centimeters. Now here, dividing out the common units. This will be equal to 28 upon 100 cubic meters which is equal to 0 0.28 cubic meters. So we get 280,000 cubic centimeters is equal to 0 0.28 cubic meters. Now cubic foot and cubic inch are some of the examples of units of volume in the customer system and cubic centimeter and cubic meter are examples of units of volume in metric system. And now let us discuss units of capacity. Now units of capacity and units of volume are very closely related. Matrix system is very convenient in finding capacity than the customary system. First of all, let us see one of the unit of capacity that is milliliter. Now, one milliliter of fluid will fill a cube of 1 cm by 1 cm by 1 cm thus 1 cubic centimeter has capacity 1 milliliter 
and we write one cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter. For example, if volume of a container is 5000 cubic centimeters, then its capacity in milliliters is 5000 milliliters. Now let us discuss another unit of capacity that is liter. Now, one liter of a fluid will fill a cube of 10 centimeters into 10 centimeters into 10 centimeters. That is the cube with dimension 10 centimeters. Thus, 1000 cubic centimeters has capacity 1 liter. So we write 1 liter is equal to 1000 cubic centimeters. Now if volume of a container is 5000 cubic centimeters then its capacity in liters is equal to 5000 cubic centimeters into 1 liter upon 1000 cubic centimeters and this is equal to 5 liters. Or we can find using relation 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters which can be written in unit ratio 1000 milliliters upon 1 liter. So when capacity is 5000 milliliters and if we have to convert in, in liters now we know that Milliliters is smaller unit and liters is a larger unit. So, to convert smaller unit into larger unit, we multiply it by reciprocal of the unit ratio. So, 5000 milliliters is equal to 5000 milliliters into reciprocal of this unit ratio, which is 1 liter upon 1000 milliliters. Now dividing out the common units, this is equal to 5 liters. And now let us discuss kiloliter. Now 1 kiloliter of fluid will fill a cube of 1 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter. It means 1 cubic meter has a capacity of 1 kiloliter. So we write 1 cubic meter is equal to 1 kiloliter. And now let us discuss scale. Now, in everyday life, we measure several things like thermometer, weighing scale, ruler, speedometer, etc. Now, see this picture of thermometer. It is a number line starting from 35 and ends in 32. And here, the numbers denote temperature in degrees centigrade. So, the scale starts from 35 to 42. And here, the temperature is given as 35 degrees centigrade, 36 degrees centigrade, and so on, up to 42 degrees centigrade. Thus, there is a gap of 1 degree centigrade between two numbers. So, scale interval is 1. Now, between two temperature readings, say 36 and 37, there are small lines which indicate division and each division represents 0 0.1 degree centigrade. It means between 36 and 37 the temperature will be read as 36.1 degree centigrade, 36.2 degree centigrade and so on. Similarly, when we have a weighing scale, we see this scale measures till 1 kilogram 
the half weight is 500 grams and there is a gap of 100 grams between any two larger lines lying adjacent to each other. So, scale factor is of 100 and here the arrow is showing weight of 700 grams. Thus, we can find scale and interpret a situation from various representations like graph, bar diagrams, histograms, etc. Now, let us see how to choose an appropriate display and scale. Now, when we have distinct categories, we use bar graphs and to display data over time, we choose line graphs and we choose circle graph or you can say pie graph to display when data is in parts and when we have to compare frequencies of data that fall in equal interval, we choose histogram. Now scale interval depends on range of data. Now if range of data is from 0 to 100, then scale interval of 10 will be appropriate rather than choosing scale interval of 5 or 25. Now to interpret a graph, two things are essential. One is title of graph and other is label of x-axis and y-axis. For example, let us study the following graph and here we are given a title, there is weight. Now here on y-axis we are given weight in kilograms and on x-axis we are given age in years and these units help us in interpreting the results. Also we can see on x-axis there is a difference of 1 between any two consecutive numbers. So, scale interval is 1 on x-axis and on y-axis there is a difference of 10 between any two consecutive numbers. So, scale interval is 10 on y-axis also, here we can see when age is 7 years, girls' weight is 40 kilograms. So, in this session, we have discussed how to convert units of volume and capacity and how to interpret scales in graph and data displays. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.